Welcome to Drinks Tube. I'm Sam Carter, gin professor here at Laverstoke Mill, a gin distillery 60 miles west of London. I've been making cocktails right around the world for the last 20 years, so I think I'm the best person to give you the ultimate guide to gin. There's been a huge resurgence in gin and gin cocktails in the last few years. But what is gin? The definition of gin states that it has to be a juniper dominant flavoured spirit of agricultural origin and then bottled above 37.5% alcohol by volume. Gin has a thousand years of history to it. it. dates all the way back to about 1050 AD to an Italian monastery. So gin is Italian. Gin wasn't popularised until the 16th century in Belgium and Holland. And it's here, during the Thirty Year War, the term Dutch courage was coined. And the British soldiers, who'd take a wee nip of the local Geneva, give them a bit of courage to get out onto the battlefield, brought it back to England and shortened the name to just gin and claimed it as their own. When I say botanical, it stems from the word botany, that basically means anything that's grown like a herb, root, spice, plant, or even a nut. You've got to have juniper in your gin to be a gin. Some of the other most common botanicals in gin are like the lemon peel. It gives a wonderful, bright, fresh, citrusy element to the gin. Cassia bark, licorice root, angelica root, even grains of paradise and kuba berries that give a wonderful floral peppery spice. But when you bring all of these botanicals together, this is what makes gin so versatile and mixable in a vast array of cocktails. So once you've harvested your botanicals that are going to go into the gin, you need them in a natural raw berry form. You're going to dry them. This is the juniper berry, and we extract the oils out of it to give a wonderful bright, fresh, green, piney note. So there's two main types of gin. You've got that cold compounded gin, and you've got that distilled and London dry gins. Cold compound is basically that nutrient spirit mixed with some botanicals for a few days to infuse, add water, and then you bottle it. When you make a distilled gin, well, we all know that water boils off at 100 degrees C, right? But alcohol boils at about 20 degrees lower at 78.37 degrees C. So if you've got alcohol and water together with the botanicals, you're going to heat that up and then you're going to hit the condenser and condense it back to a liquid. With a distilled gin, you are allowed to add artificial flavouring after distillation, but with a London dry gin, you're not allowed to add anything like that at all. But with the gin they make here, they use a process known as vapour infusion. And by that I mean, they don't put the botanicals in the still, they put them in a perforated copper basket about 35 foot up in the air, 25 foot across the still house. And they allow that spirit to pass through the botanicals and extract the natural raw flavour of the botanical rather than a cooked flavour. So in here, we've got a wheat base, nutrient spirit and water that's heated up to 80 degrees C. So that means that all of the alcohol goes up the column. So when that spirit comes up the column, it then turns a corner and comes down the line arm into this perforated copper basket where those botanicals are held. And this is what's known as the vapour infusion process. It extracts all the natural oils within the botanicals and then comes out the other side as a flavoured vapour. Then it hits the condenser and condenses back to a liquid. So it passes through the pipework into the spirit safe. This liquid's coming off pretty much double bottling straight. So that's like 85 to 90% alcohol. This is the access point for the stillman to be able to nose and taste the gin. We don't want the first 20 litres or so, we want to wait for a lovely bright fresh citrus note to come through. That then leads into piney notes, floral notes, rooty notes and then spicy notes and all of this is the heart of the gin. And then after about six hours or so, they'll be nosing it every minute and once they finish getting those spicy notes, they'll switch over and that's the tails. So it's that heart that we want right in the middle. They take that high strength botanical spirit, add water to it to dilute it down to bottling strength, put it in the bottle and it's ready for you to make your favourite gin cocktail. To see me teach you how to make my favourite gin cocktail, click right here on the Sublime Moment button or follow the link below and you'll learn all about how flavour transmogrification is amazing. Subscribe to Drinkstube right here and it will teach you all about cocktails, beers, wines, soft drinks, everything. Cheers.